Hey, you welcome back there. So yeah, this is just a quick video um, on how to properly set up a variable speed furnace, um, an XV system with an S9V style furnace, non-communicating. Here in the maintenance and I was getting, uh, as you can see, our airflow, it's only about 700 CFM per, per total, basically. And that's because it hasn't been set up properly. Um, the BK terminal needs to be actually set up on the relay panel here. You see BK is going to be our PWM. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take our black wire here, put that in BK. And then I'm going to grab the black wire over here. And then wire to BK and see what we get. Okay. See if we can find our black wire real quick. Uh oh. Yikes. So we don't have any black wire potential. Jeez. Where's this wire? Where's this one going? Let's see. to the outdoor unit there. But, uh, we're using Y and using blue and yellow for that's weird. We got blue here. Okay, that's a waste. It's a waste of a wire there. So apparently whoever wired it actually wired the yellow common wire from the furnace to the blue wire going to common at the outdoor unit instead of just wiring the blue wire from the outdoor unit directly to common on the relay panel which also has a blue common wire going back to the furnace. Hopefully this makes sense. Blue. I'm just going to put this blue in here. That way I can use this yellow. I'm going to take this blue. Get in here. Let's take yellow. Now we've got our yellow. We're gonna go to BK with that. Here's BK. Take it off of this common. I'm going to take yellow. BK here. What you're gonna want to do? Hey, that's something. They cut the jumper. He just didn't finish the job. Either way, you want to cut that jumper? You want to take yellow and bring that into this BK terminal. BK uh, now on the BK here. So let's see what we've got. Needs to be one, two, three. So you got three registering. Probably got to recycle everything. Okay, I'm gonna go and recycle everything and come back. See what we got. As you can see there, we got our airflow now. Reading. Sorry, it's upside down, but 1500. CFM. So it's a lot louder now too, but it's going to do a whole lot better. That's why it's always good to be do maintenance. 
Uh, this is my initial temp split here, 37 degrees. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, that's not going to fly. Uh, and that's how they set it up, so. But, you know, with being a TXV, our suction line didn't dive too badly. We got it in non-invasive mode. I didn't even check my pressures. But, uh, it, um, assumed 14 degrees superheat. So, uh, yeah, we got proper airflow now. What I'm going to do now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I still got my probes. Still got my probes in the duct work, so I'm going to go ahead and clear this. See what our split is now. Nice. 25. Looking good. That's how you save systems, you know, during maintenance. So yeah, I'm not sure this thing. I think this thing's been set up here for at least a year running like this. So. All right, so you can see, as you can see here, I got my probes on it. Um, check my pressures and temperatures. You can see they just, um, whoever did the install here, they went ahead and overcharged the system. We got 21 degrees of subcooling, really high head pressure. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out some refrigerant. It's probably gonna be about two, three pounds overcharged. It's strange that you can overcharge it with low airflow, but um, yeah, we'll see what we get here. Still got a 24 degree split, 19 degrees of subcooling. So yeah, we're going to do that real quick, and I'll let you know what we got. Ready? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this here T while it's spinning. Throw it on the liquids, liquid line, high side. I can't see that from here, but it's going my high side there. Like such. I'm going to take this here, got our recovery tank. Let's grab our scale here. Heel piece job link. Matter of fact, measurements, scale, zero it out. Zero. 18 pounds. Let's go ahead and zero it out again. Okay, so now I'm using this phone here to monitor charge. Outdoor measurements, make sure we clear it. Not greatly overcharged, but it's overcharged enough. And 16 degrees of subcooling, should be 10, probably even 8 on these um, XV systems. Let's take a look. Subcooling. Still showing 17. Let's go ahead and pulse them out. Let's go ahead and enter this as a liquid actually. That's the minimus. It. Probably only need to take about a pound, if that. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and. Hmm. It almost looks more like a restriction, to be honest with you. The TX, uh, TXV. Fifty-eight degree suction. Let's try to pull some out.
We've got about four ounces. Hmm. Four and a half, uh, four and two fours. So this is what my pressures look like after I got um, about a, a pound and a half out. It's mostly stabilized at this point. I pretty much left it at about 13 degrees subcooling just because it was uh, 10 degrees plus or minus 3 degrees. So I went ahead and left it on the high side. You can see the suction line temperature and the superheat slightly high. And that's probably because the TXV was still throttled down from that, um, you know, the overcharge situation. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Got a good temp split. Yeah, this is just a pretty much a heads up to let you know. Uh, don't neglect maintenance is just because the new system the system wasn't even a year old essentially it was just set up wrong from the beginning so it was only doing 700 cfm even though it was a variable speed system so more than likely it wasn't running with low really low airflow all the time because these um units are designed to run um at a variable refrigerant rate but on those 90 degree days or 95 degree days or above it was definitely running low airflow uh, 700 cfm on a four ton system so but yeah i'm sure once this thing settles out and the txv opens up all the way the uh, sub cooling and the suction line and suction pressure will go into the proper ranges i'm pretty satisfied with these pressures right now so yeah, this goes to show you the importance of properly commissioning a system especially you know 15 to twenty thousand dollar variable speed system them. Just got to make sure you set these things up right because it could be pretty catastrophic damage. That'll do it. All right, man. Hopefully this helps. Uh, if anybody, any, anyone have any questions, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, bye now.